When was the last time you struggled with making a decision? In our lives, we make hundreds and hundreds of decisions every single day. Should I comb my hair when I get up? Should I brush my teeth before I eat or after I eat? What do I wear? Who do I hang out with? What do I spend my time doing? You see, we make decisions every single day, and lots of them are decisions that we don't even know we're making. But there are some decisions that require us to take a little bit more time in finding out facts and making the best decision possible. We've been starting a new study on Sunday nights called I Decide, where we've allowed the Spirit of God to give us wisdom into how we make decisions. We've looked at scripture and we've asked ourselves some questions that have helped us make the best decisions that we possibly can. And I want to go ahead and share with you some of those tips that we've talked about. Every Wednesday for the next couple of weeks, I'll be recapping what it is that we study on that particular Wednesday. And I'll also give you a future sneak peek as to what it is we'll be talking about for the new lesson on I Decide. So we've been studying uh, this I Decide study for the past two weeks. And in those discussions, we've actually been asking ourselves questions that help us to make good decisions, that guide us along the way, that allow us to communicate with God and have him be on our side when we're making decisions. The first test that we want to go through when it comes to making the best decisions possible for our life is something called the ideal test. And the ideal test basically asks us the question, is this in harmony with God's word? I mean, let's be honest. There are some decisions that we need to make because God's word says it. God's word is truth. It is power. It is always going to be right. It's been right since it was breathed into humans by God. And it's going to be right for years and years and years and years to come. And there are some things in God's word that we just know we have to obey. Like, for example, we know that we shouldn't kill anyone because God says do not murder. We know we shouldn't lie to anyone because God's word says do not lie. And so if there are certain specific commands in God's word, we need to honor that. And we need to make decisions based on what God's word says. The word of God is never going to contradict itself. It's only going to support itself. So when you are faced with a decision over something as simple or as serious as, is this in the Bible? Is this decision I'm going to make, is there a guideline or a principle about it in God's word? And if there is, listen to what God's word says. It's the ideal test. The second test that we've used to help us make good decisions in our life is the integrity test. And the integrity test is very simple. It follows or it guides us and it helps us to answer the question, would I want everyone else to know about this decision that I am making? Wow, think about that. If you're struggling with a decision to make, and you have this thought in the back of your mind that says, do I want my friends to know that I'm making this choice? Would my reputation, would my integrity be on the line if people knew I was making this choice? If you're thinking that, it probably isn't the smart way to go. You see, integrity is being the same person living the same life that you are in front of people and when you're alone. 
Integrity means you have the same values and morals with a bunch of people and when you're all alone. Jesus was all about integrity. You know, he often criticized the New Testament religious leaders and Pharisees because he said, you take so much time, you New Testament church leaders, by keeping the outside clean, but your insides are rotten. You need to flip that, or you need to get rid of all the rottenness. The outside and the inside need to match. You need to be people of integrity. And so if you're struggling with a decision to make, if you're worried about how other people are going to judge you or think about you, or if you believe that you may be thrown away from a group, if a decision you make is made public, then that may not be the best decision for you to make. You may need to listen and follow the integrity test. So those have been the two tests that we have discussed so far in our I Decide study. This upcoming Sunday, we're going to look at our third question, and that has to deal with something called the improvement test. And the improvement test answers the question, will this make me a better person? Will this decision I'm making make me a better person? Sometimes in life, we're not always choosing between a good decision and a bad decision. Sometimes we're choosing between a good decision and a better decision. Listen to this story from Scripture. It comes from the Gospel of Luke chapter 10. And it's a very famous passage. Luke 10, 38 through 42. As Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. But Jesus' response to her was this. My dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. You see, Mary and Martha were sisters, and they were wanting to make the Lord feel comfortable in their house. Martha was doing nothing wrong, but she was just focusing on the cleaning and the cooking and the preparing. Mary made the better decision by sitting and listening to Christ's teachings. And so that's something we'll be talking about this upcoming Sunday called the Improvement Test. And we'll be looking at more scripture references to support that test as well. So, these next couple of weeks, like I said, we will be talking about the I Decide series so we can help you, so God can help you be the best decision maker that you can. Because we know you struggle a lot with figuring out what's best for my life, what's best for other people, and what's best for me and my relationship with God. We hope that this study, these devotions, will be able to help guide you and help you realize how Scripture is always here to support you and to guide you and to basically be a life map and compass for your life. I want to thank you for joining us in this latest video devotion. Let's say a closing prayer. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for this day and for all the ways that you continue to be in our lives, even in the midst of uncertain times. God, I thank you for your word and how it guides, instructs, motivates, gets us to think, and most importantly, allows us to see you and how you love us and the ways in which you love us. 
Help us to make good decisions. Help us to allow your word to seep into our hearts that we may take it with us and look back on it and reflect on it when faced with big decisions we need to make. Your word says that you are with us and never against us. Help us to believe that as we make good life decisions moving forward. Thank you for this day, and it's in your name that we pray. Amen. We'll see you next time.